Hey everybody, Greg here, and this is a short video about a toaster that we just got. It's a Russell Hobbs two-slice retro toaster. You can find it online, and we've been really enjoying this one. It's been about a week since we got it, tried some of the features out, and let me just uh, let you take a look. When it's not in use, we keep it tucked under the kitchen cabinets here next to the bread maker. And because it gets pretty hot, um, we usually pull it out then before using it, before turning it on. Now you'll see this apparatus on the top. That allows you to put pastries or, um, you know, a slice of bread if you want to toast it manually, essentially. Uh, and even like a light fluffy flour tortilla you can put on there. Um, and with the tortilla on there, you get a really nice crispy... Uh, crispy tortilla. It's not crunchy, it's just like a perfect crisp on the on the uh, sides there with that. So anyway, I'm going to take this off though and just show you on the right hand side you have some settings and adjustments. Um, now this would be one area of possible improvement would be to more clearly mark these. So I'm going to have to lift this up and let the light hit it just the right way. And you'll see the one on the left is an eject button. The one in the middle, if you, you look closely, it sort of looks like a bagel. And the one that has the snowflake on it is for defrosting. And you have settings from one to six, which correspond with a timer. And those specific times are provided in the user's guide. But you'll see when I push the lever down, the needle kind of calibrates and sets it in this case 2.5 so even though the lever is set at 3.5 um, we're getting a timer at 2.5 and that will count down you can see inside here it's getting quite hot now I'm not sure if these vents here are just decorative or um, yeah, I think they're just decorative right so I thought well maybe that's to let more heat in uh, you know heat out to heat up whatever you've set on the tray at the top. but So here you can see that fluffy tortilla on the top getting lightly toasted. And this is just a tip for those of you who want some good tortillas. These Mission Extra Fluffy are quite good. You want to avoid eating too many of those because they have a lot of carbs, just like any kind of flour red product. Now, when you glance at the front, I guess if we can think of this as the front of the toaster, it looks like the logo is off-center, and that can be kind of distracting, I guess, if, if you're compulsive about such things. But as you zoom in here, you can see um, there's, you know, Russell Hobbs logo imprinted in the metal. It's just not very easy to see there. And one uh, other comment I would have about this is it's helpful to watch the needle uh, timer showing you how much time is left. That's nice to watch that. And this is a, a good presentation for that toaster, you know, to have it uh, set sideways. But it means that you're going to have to kind of look around to the right-hand side to make these adjustments uh, with the buttons and the timer adjustment. So some people, I guess, would prefer to have the adjustments facing forward and other folks would want the timer indicator facing forward. Now, I'm going to show you how nicely this is toasted on that side. Now, I should have given that the full period of time. I put it on partway through, but it just gives it a really nice crispy surface to the flour tortilla. So that's it. I think it's, it's a nice toaster. It seems really solid. It accommodates bagels really well. The function, you know, it operates well and uh, feels pretty solid. Uh, another nice feature is you, you can raise that lever up when the toast is done. If you have a smaller piece or something you're trying to get out of the toaster, you can lift it a little bit higher so you don't have to reach down inside of a very hot toaster. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. Feel free to comment, share. Uh, feedback's always really appreciated. So have a great day.